when you get out of the metro just across the road or you can get here by bus trolley bus by tram but the mask is really good and it's not open daily and you have got to check a schedule but not a problem this also count as a architectural like a sea signing place one of the best in st petersburg it looks very good and closed up a lot of details symbols and everything you want to see in musk one of those most legendary russian or soviet battleship is aurora and this cruiser became famous because he made a shot on uh, winter palace when the revolution was starting so it's you know like a symbol oh my god oh my god there's lenin he's alive he's alive here is aurora uh, it has, uh, I think, 154 millimeters uh, cannon, uh, 14 or 16 uh, on the ship, no torpedoes, uh, light armor, very slow, but legendary. So in this, in this beautiful masterpiece. I don't know if it's possible to see it, but he's not like kind of flying above the river. Sometimes not even touch the water. Press the hard button, subscribe our channel, and make some activities and commentary. Uh, we're looking for mini city. I'm just giving you a tips. You should pass this building, and from a square, move further from a river, and right here, so find this. Oh yeah, there is a there is a place. These are the, uh, all the guys who done a lot for building St. Petersburg. Thank you for building this wonderful city, guys. Appreciate, appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Here are the metal monuments of all the great buildings in St. Petersburg. So this is Mikhailovsky Castle. Over there is uh, Petropavlovsky Fortress. And this is that uh, we're going today. Um, this is a Spas Nakavi, Spas on Blood, Hermitage, and Kazansky Cathedral. So St. Petersburg started from this place, uh, Petrogradsky Fortress, and this place uh, never been like a military one. It's supposed to, but never used to. There was a prison, but that's it. It became a museum, a shop, a restaurant, a place for vacation and relax. I will show you where you can get some normal food, uh, a low price food also, what is important. Go into the right, Ponka, Ponka, follow me. And there is a Leningradskoye cafe. So over there, there is restaurants, fancy ones, very high price. And this one, I think is good enough. So as you can see, it's quite in Soviet, but clean and modern at the same time. The dish is about also, yeah, 1.5 dollars average. You can get whatever you want. That was good. And it was... 8.5 dollars <coughs> hey careful <coughs> careful whoa stay away stay away and this is the tower you can see it from many angles in st petersburg and this is like a symbol of st petersburg same as many buildings to be honest oh secrets of da vinci exposition there's a uh, the left shot the guy who is making tiny sculptures like tiny 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 this guy in the in russian legend he make a small one and put it on a flea foot so it was so small 
So he's a professional, master of like jewel sharp. And there is a torture museum. Yeah, you can make a photo or just step inside and see how creative was people in the, in the, in the past. There is a museum of technique and, uh, and science. So there is a museum for the kids and for the youngster or for the kids and grown-ups. It's a museum of uh, spirit of time. So it's old toys and modern toys and you know just things that disappeared in the timeline of our lives. So you know, right here you can see people who is nearby the docks over there. They get sunbath. Let's walk around the, the fortress. But, I mean, it's a wonderful feeling. You can walk right on the stones of the fortress in front of the most important buildings in St. Petersburg, as you can see Sakivsky over there and Winter Palace just behind the yacht now. That's Ascend, my friends. And this is the main event of this fortress, on my opinion. Oh, I love you, St. Pete! And you will say the same if you'll come here. And this is a Koryushka restaurant. Koryushka is a very famous and very uh, tasty fish. So I'm in love with the Koryushka. Uh, but I've never been inside of this restaurant because it's very expensive. It's up to you if you'll just press, you know, free button, spend 20 seconds of your lifetime. Maybe one day I'll be able to go inside and maybe I can even make an order and eat. On the other side of the Petropavlovskaya fortress, there is a place, specific place, where people playing uh, Gorodki. Uh, it could be translated as cities, uh, maybe Lapta. Uh, so they just uh, throw in a stick to hit uh, a number of small sticks, which is combined in some different forms, shapes, and uh, depending on the level, the shapes is becoming more stronger. So you gotta hit all of them. I will just show you a little bit. And uh, if you have a uh, free time, you can come over to this place and just play here for free. It's not a ship in the end. It's not able to swim. It's just a, a restaurant, of course. What else? Up, uh, and there is a menu with a price. Oh my God, it's quite good. It's normal price for such a place. Uh, I mean, it's exclusive. It's fancy. It looks rich. This place in Russian it's called Strelka, but in, in, we can translate it as uh, arrow. Uh, and this is a place for people's meaning. So all the big events, when the groups of people trying to make a flash mob, like dancing, or I uh, hope it's always something positive, and they come into this place and do it right here, the Strelka. So and those? Two familiar guys, as I heard, they came straight from Egypt uh, and they bring unluck. As a citizen of St. Petersburg saying, you should not touch them. Maybe they cursed, I don't know. So our car is on the way, just four minutes, and this car will take us to a safe cuddle port so we can see a sunset and we'll be there in time. That's a promise, that's a promise. So come on, boy, pick us up, pick us up. We came to a safe cabin port, art space, where all the people are very modern styled, so not like me. Uh, and there is a good sunset, and there is different street food, street art. And uh, a lot of things to do. The 
that if you're trying to find a friend who you can speak with, he came over to save Kabul and find somebody who is trying to speak English, uh, please subscribe our channel, ask something in the commentary line, and of course, press the hard button. We need your support.